Hey, hey guys, it's already January 2019, so it's time to take a look back, you know, at 2018, what happened, make some summaries, and later talk about the future, what are we planning to work this year. But, yeah, for now, let's focus on the past. This was a hell of a year, 2018, I think, for everybody, same for us. Uh, there were quite a lot of big milestones for us personally and for the project but you know we'll focus for all this blood on this one so let's let's go right mm. so the first uh, big thing that happened was a working prototype we, uh, we had our first demo in 2018 and it was really the start of like real work for us we could actually play the game see if our ideas had a little <laughs> to nonsense and uh, just build on top of that that was the foundation that allowed us to to build on top of that and, and explore the world of Aldous blood another big thing in 2018 was our first kickstarter campaign it was a bittersweet experience we weren't able to fund the project but we also gain a group of very loyal followers uh, thanks for your support I know that some of you are still with us, uh, still commenting our posts on social media, and we are very, very thankful for that. Even though we didn't end up funded, uh, it was a very important experience. This failure it allowed us to take a longer look at the game, look at this from a perspective, and, and made some drastic decisions. So the Kickstarter for us was like a bucket of cold water. We take a closer look at the game, as I said. We were way more critical towards our work at that time. Mm, so we spent some time idealizing new Alders Blood, you know, something like to Alders Blood 2.0. For Kickstarter, everything was in a rush. So a lot of these ideas, the original ideas from the very first pitch, uh, were abandoned for some reason. So we like make a zoom out out of this and start looking at this again and see what went wrong, what what should have been done and basically started doing this. So the first big change were the graphics. Uh, we just basically threw away everything that we had and started over. This was not the path that I wanted to follow anymore. So we developed a new art style. We changed the skeletal animations to stop motion animations. I think it already starts to pay off and there's a lot of work still for us, but we are ready for that. We are polishing everything and adjusting individuals of others. But this, this month, the rest of January and the beginning of February was, is focused on this polishing of the visuals of the game. We dropped hunter classes. This was also a very big thing. Right now we have hunters that can be customized freely, so players should have way more freedom in making their own builds focused on a specific mechanic or against specific opponents. We also focus on the stealth mechanics way more. We are still building new new stuff that will increase the stealthy approach of the game. But you know, this is for another time, for another devlog. Okay, so even though Alders Blood got this restart, it was all great for the project, we still uh, didn't have any funding for this. So we started planning uh, how we could work on this part-time, who would in the team actually want to work on this part-time and this was like the really the worst time in project and one of the worst times in my life but you know then this dark period ended suddenly and we signed a publishing contract with Fat Dog Games and right now we are working together the development cycle is way more organized way more professional and the game starts looking good you know because thanks to that it was a great relief uh, I hope that you know guys from Fat Dog are not angry at me because the, you know the decision to, to sign this contract was like a great it was unreal for me so I didn't know if I if I reacted the way they, they could they could expect I had to actually sit for a few minutes in the car to process all of that but that was like one of the greatest reliefs of 2018. A lot happened in 2018, good and bad, but the important thing is that we survived, the project survived, the game will be developed, will be published, so it's just, you know, we need a little bit more time to finish this, but the, you know, quality of, of development, quality of work, quality of life even, you know, improved a lot for us, so it will be way easier, and the, this, this process should go a lot more smoother. Okay, so stay warm in this winter, and see you on the next one.